All right, people. Welcome back. More the Undo commentary. So we are joined by Lunar. Yo. And uh, we are seeing Lost in Lost in the Sauce. He was supposed to duel against uh, that saucy Dan, but he just ended up leaving. Clearly playing them uh, them uh, monarchs with the extra deck, like Patrick Hogan style. Like, all right, all right. And uh, he is versus David Ab Ab sixteen at eleven oh seven, which is I guess fine. So. Uh, Kind of seeing what this whole Patrick Hoban thing is like. I guess you can't do domain, but you can do your rank eights plays, and that's 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 pretty power, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's mm. pretty power. I, have, I haven't played the end since they uh, took off all the pictures, so I thought my pictures just hadn't loaded in. <laughs> Wait, you don't have the pictures? No, I don't have the pictures. I said there's a link in the description. And I can go ahead and send it to you, and it'll give you the pictures. It won't give the, the, like their profile pic, but it'll give you the pictures of the cards. Oh, I, I don't need them. I'll be fine. Yeah, they actually uh, took the time to actually put the the images on the server, on a separate server. So, similar to YGO Pro and Dev Pro, they can't hit them. I see. Yeah, so that helps. So, go ahead and grab him, return the Monarch. Uh, probably a very uh, powerful addition since uh, Strike didn't get hit in Monarch. Because it allows them to dodge out of the way of that Solemn Strike, you know? Because you just go Chain Link 1, uh, the Monarch effect, Chain Link 2... Return and then of course some strike has to be the direct chain to the monster effect being activated So you can't some strike the monster because it's uh, you're responding to the chain link two of the return Seeing Karaz pop the the idea and the uh, return is, Wow, you just got it, but I guess you're like screw it. I'm good uh, draw two and uh, go ahead and get you uh, Your pantheism back with idea and like look at this look at this shit like the shit. He opened up, started off with five, now he has seven. <laughs> <laughs> Already 24 cards deep into his deck. Like, yeah, that's pretty power. I mean, he hasn't done anything that I don't, I couldn't see with, uh, without an extra deck, but that's fine. It looks like we're seeing some heroes. Go ahead and oh, that's and... so weird with our pitches, though. I mean, I'll, get, I'll be fine, but... I said I would have to go ahead and pause and do all that. So I guess uh, in in between uh in uh in rounds, I'll go ahead and send you the link. All right, cool. Then you have to just close and open up that. Now I guess save that as your new DM, <laughs> <laughs> and you would have, at least have the card images, or at least the majority of them. I think card of demise isn't on. All right, seeing the return of Prime. So we we uh, I mean. Alias attack and then during the damage step lance. You haven't seen that in like a cool minute, but that's what you want to do. No Denklaw that deck. I mean Denklaw that deck definitely hurts uh, Monarch. So just a couple of cards that are just because all the meta, if you really think about it, is all pretty much the same. Like they all have the same weaknesses, so it's really susceptible to the plays. All right, so Monarch's time fourth. Gonna see the uh, attributing of, uh, but isn't he unaffected by other spells and traps? No, no, you lance his monster. I was like, wait. Man, no. I can't even tell. I like. You're just seeing plays going on I'm, in the darkness. Yeah, I'm hover, I have to hover over all the things, and then it just doesn't go into my brain very well. So he summoned Prime, then Monarch stormed forth his alias in the Prime to summon uh, Ether, sent to Ether, summon uh, Rebus, and then get the Rebus back. So. I see. Yeah, and we're seeing pop of a set card with that. Uh, that one spell card, that pop set cards that monarchs have, if you have the tribute summon monster. I was kind the, of wondering uh, if that's Frost one, yeah. whatever it's called. Yeah, it came out in the TCGs, and we're seeing it being played. I mean, it's searchable, so double, it's, it's see. double set pop. I mean, I guess we can go ahead and place Twin Twisters in the deck. I mean, the deck is not generally a deck that can risk the cost of Twin Twisters, but the problem is you have to have a monarch already on the field. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then let's go ahead and oh, scoop yeah. it up. So uh, we'll go ahead and pause, and I'll go ahead and send Lunar the good stuff. Be right back. All right, and we're back. I went ahead and sent uh, Lunar <laughs> the good stuff. Hey, pitches. <laughs> yep. Hey. So is it Dank Law deck time, Mr. David? Yes, it is. <laughs> so uh, I got a lot of projects to do on the channel. First thing first, I need to get I need to get more credibility. I need to get myself out there. I think I, I think I want to go through Mega Capital G. 
you know, uh, I'm subscribed to him on Twitch, and it's pretty much breaking the shit out of my uh, YouTube channel. Like, I'm literally not making any profit. Like, mm -hmm. like I, I don't know. I, I Of course, I don't care if people don't click an ad or not. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to tell you click an ad if you want to, I guess. I don't care. I'm not going to promote it, but I t the the... What I've been making on YouTube has definitely been going down the last couple of months. So I can't say the specific amount, but I make like, I make like six $1 hamburgers per month, right? And mm. it just cost, it cost me five just to stay subscribed to Meg Capital G on Twitch. Cause I want to support him to, you know, hopefully get his attention to get my channel out there. You know? Yeah. Pay a little, get some more. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, hopefully I can go ahead and, you know, get his attention and be like, hey, can I, uh, you know, join you on your t Twitch streams? You know, d just that would be enough to, you know, definitely get my channel out there if I could just join him on Twitch streams as, like, his co-host or something. Mm. And get my channel out there, get a little bit bigger. Then, uh, what I was planning for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League for uh, Season 2... One of the things was uh, hosting, like, a tournament. Damn. Oh, damn. Like I said, Dark Law, it hurts Monarch so bad. Damn. And blocked it with the Lance, too. Like, nah, nah. Like, you blocked that, uh, that Dank Law. Uh, versus that Monarch Storm Fourth, they don't got shit. So, I have seen the Rota for the idea. I've been seeing them, uh, Monarch decks take out the Rota to get the idea. I think that's crazy. Like, you should definitely run the one Rota. Like, idea is yeah, just so good. for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh... I was going to host, like, a tournament. It's kind of like SEMO, except you don't pay to get people out there because a lot of people are asking me, but I don't think I'm I don't think I'm big enough or have the credibility to get away with that, you know? Mm. Like, I would literally have to ask a whole bunch of big YouTubers to allow me a guest upload just to announce a tournament, not even the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League, which kind of sucks. So what I'm planning on doing, and hopefully if I get a little bit bigger through Mega Capital G, and I'll probably upload a video sometime, because the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2 is not till the summer, is uh, just get some smaller, diligent Yu-Gi-Oh! Tubers like me to get their channel out there. Join me as tag partner, of course, and do all that, you know? Damn, I gotta go. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, You're, right. Yeah, right. You're going off, but you decided to just, I gotta go. That's, that's lame. I hate when people say that. It's really disappointing, so we'll get another match. We are back. Alright, we got another duel. We got more of the extra deck monarch, so we got Jackson B <laughs> at <laughs> 1045, and I guess it's supposed to be Team O Team O too strong. Strong? And only a yeah. hundred. So running sl I, I like I don't understand how DN pairs up these two people. One's over a thousand, one's only one hundred, like really? So just kind of get people who are like 2,000 or less, similar to me, get them out there, get their channels out there. If they're a diligent Yugi tuber, I feel like they should be bigger. You know, kind of like me. I work hella hard on my channel. I feel like I should definitely big, be bigger. So I want to grow with these other people who are also 2,000 who are, you know, work really hard on their channel. And then have them join for season two as well. So right now I'm messaging P-Bunny. Sounds good. Because P-Bunny, I feel like P-Bunny should be... Have a lot more subscribers for how popular he is. Like he's for goodness sakes, he's like one of the people in Simo's tournament. Like how do you, how do you not, how do you have only like barely over a thousand subscribers and are in Simo's tournament with full of other big YouTubers? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Mm. So I would love Simo to join me as a tag partner and join in season two. Uh, I I think Simo wanted me to join. The only thing is that Simo wants to join in my Yu-Gi-Oh tour draft league, but he didn't even ask me to join in season two of his tournament. Like he didn't even invite me. I guess he probably Ooh. forgot. Uh, he he added in fucking uh, Yugi Mation twice, but didn't even <gasps> ask me. Like, all right, that's cool. Throwing shade. Yeah, like he threw in Yugi Mation. He faced Meg Capital G, lost, and then I think that, like the last round, he was like, "Oh, Yugi Mation reborn duels again," and then he won. So Yugi Mation got to go in twice. <laughs> Hello, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? fuck are we seeing? <laughs> <laughs> wow. BA. BA fucking. What is this? Monarch. Damn. So instead of sending that prime, or sending another, I mean, sending another pantheism, I'm gonna go ahead and send that card that will go ahead and uh, pop some background, some set cards on. You have a monarch, so. But interesting. So I guess that card is pretty good in monarchs. 
It's just like I said, you gotta have a, a tribute summon monarch. So if you don't have a tribute summon monarch, you're kinda screwed when it comes to that card. But pop two set cards, it's pretty power. Or at least one if you send it. If you open up with it too. If not, it's still a one for one. Just go ahead and banish pop a set. But two two freaking uh uh BAs. If you had told me that two BAs were gonna tribute someone to monarch, I wouldn't have believed you. <laughs> <laughs> So is this the new thing, the extra deck monarch, PK monarchs? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> monarch fire, I don't even know what to call it. Monarch abyss. <laughs> mm. Seeing the return summon of prime. Then that's just so much power, like a re-risk picking something out of your hand first turn. Oh, now you say good luck? <laughs> oh, and it, is it fucking is extra deck monarchs? Is this a legit thing? Oh, yeah, God, I guess it is. it is. Both of them playing extra deck monarchs. Fucking hopping on that dick on Patrick Hoban like a motherfucker. Like, alright. Except Patrick Hoban did it, and now look at this shit. <laughs> that... I love it. Even even with all this amazing support for not having an extra deck, they still monarchs still have an extra deck. Mm-hmm. Konami are going to have to release a card that says if you have no extra deck, you win the game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he's going to pop both his cards. He's going to go ahead and chain. Return two, draw a card. Pop those two, draw two more cards. Like, like I get Karaz, but then I also don't get him. Because it's breaking rule number one and rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> yeah. Return. Never let your opponent draw. Mm -hmm. Never let your opponent draw. <laughs> Alright, so shuffle, draw, pop, pop, draw, draw, like, and he can't attack with the cross either. Look at that, look at that, mm -mm 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 -mm. Brilliant fusion, okay, it's like, did, I, I, I didn't see the deck profile for, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can he not do that? I don't, don't know. I haven't. I, I I didn't read brilliant. Fusion. He just like banished the freaking. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Doing. Misclick like five times. Oh right. Uh, he used monarch stone for it, so he can't special summon from the extra deck. Oh yeah. Yep. 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 I was thinking that it was something that brilliant. Fusion but what, like. why did he banish the spell from the grave? I don't. Know. Oh, oh he, is that his opponent to banished him? to show him? Oh, okay. I, okay. I thought he did it, but no, it was Jack. Jackson B, so he couldn't do that anyway. Because he's yeah. Monarch Stoneforth. Got it. Got it. It's, it's, I mean, it says that you can't special from extra this turn. It, not that you can't have an extra deck, so you step away from Domain a little bit, you're fine. It's just like, it's ridiculous. Like, they have, you know, something needs to happen to Monarchs. Like, next list. And that's a sad thing to say, that next list, because we don't know when we're going to get it. You know, I'd feel much more comfortable if it's like we yeah. only had a three month wait, but it could be a three month, four month, Probably five month, like six month. Like we don't know. December next year. It's ridiculous! <laughs> like come on, Ami, I can't stand your bullshit. I really cannot. Mhm. Mm yep. Oh, well, like you didn't hit pantheism, you didn't hit domain, you didn't hit Mark Stormforth, you didn't hit shit. It's like what the fuck? Like, how do you allow this structure deck just to live? <laughs> like, are you really that desperate for money where you're like, well, I don't think yeah, we should I mean, this it did out. only, like, kind of just come out. It's still fairly new. So I guess they're still racking in the money from it. It's ridiculous, man. I can't believe this, like, top tier deck, structure deck. Mm hmm. <laughs> like, a tier one it's structure crazy. deck? That's crazy. It's tier, crazy. tier two? Sure. Because then it would be interesting. Like, oh my god, this tier, this structure deck just beat the top tier meta. That's cool. But then it's tier one, so it's like, oh, yay, monarchs. That mind wow. is broken as hell. It's, it's, so it's like my freaking friend who only just got into Yu-Gi-Oh kicks my ass because I play bloody Fluffles. He's got Monarchs. Yep. Yep. And it makes you feel good, right? That you took yeah, all this like, time and effort to get Fluffles. I taught him how to play the damn deck. <laughs> now he just kicks the shit so out of you. So powerful. That it's, he activates Domain and my Fluffles are dead. Yep. There we go. We get to look at this card. It's been a while. Uh, uh, Frost Blast of the Monarchs. It's a common, I'm assuming, because it's like change. If you control a monster with 2,400 or more attack and 1,000 defense, including, uh, 
Wait, you can do that with freaking 2,000 more attack and 1,000 defense. I'm confused. How'd you do that with... You can do that with Prime? Because... Yeah, it, right. Well, stuff does it have? 2,000 more attack it's the other and 1,000 way around. It's the yeah. other effect. So, you, so I guess he can't... Didn't you just cheat with Wait, Prime? If, if he just banished it from the grave, that's fine, because that doesn't have a requirement. Oh, okay. Target with 2,000 attack. Uh... You can banish if, he, if he activated it from his hand, he okay. can't do that. All right. You can banish this card from your grave and one monarch spell a trap from your grave and target that card and field destroy it. Okay. So, that's just period. But yeah, if you play it from the hand, that'd be cheating. But nope, nope, nope. So he's good. And it's not, you can only activate the effect of Frost Blast as monarchs once per turn either. Yeah. So, all right. All right pop, I see. pop, pop, pop. Yeah, pop all your sets. The Monarchs. Yep. They used to be my favorite deck ever. No, they just can't say. Yeah, exactly. Why well, you do this, Coon Money? They want to make Monarchs good again. They're like Donald Trump. Let's make they Monarchs damn dead. Again. Uh, they damn did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they tried many times <laughs> until they finally got there. Yeah, they're like, hey, look at these Mega Monarchs. Good? Like, no. Oh, look at these Vassals. Good? No. 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 Alright, how about we just make fucking Idea and Eidos and Pantheism and Domain and... <laughs> yeah. And of course, go ahead put, and put it in a structure deck, why not? Yeah, Ido, uh, Ether and um, Arubis, Eridus, and just so many cooking cards. Do you like them now? Oh, even yeah. Even though they're right? nothing like how they should be? Yeah, they're nothing like they should be. You don't even run the old ones they used to run. Yeah. Yep, and like, uh, of course... Even, even when, like, freaking... I when Erebus and all that came out first, people still splashed the regular Monarchs. Then they realized there's no point. <laughs> May as well just run the freaking new ones. You don't need the old ones. Yep, and look at that play right there. Yeah. That's, yep, that's, Prime is a level 5 light. That's why I use that extra deck, I guess. So, catch Sister Geki. I got a please, and now you can eat a fat dick. Like, all right. And he still has six cards in hand. Just shaking my easy head. Easy game, easy life. <laughs> didn't even summon that turn. Nope. <laughs> Just set. Nope. Didn't <laughs> even summon that turn either. So he's going to go ahead and summon his prime back, which of course he could bounce back with the Pleiades and fuck your whole day up. Wow, uh, during, during your end phase? Oh, that's crazy. Damn. Oh, savage. Yeah, savage. Hit you up with that uh that uh ghost stoker. It's like... This Jack Zombie just tried to tell him to put the play these puts it in the deck. <laughs> to deck. <laughs> Like I said, now it's doing uh, rank five plays. It can do sync eights with Ghost Ogre. It's the whole reason why that uh, that Chaos Sphere shot up to like twenty dollars. You saw that card? You remember that card? Which one? The level five uh, sixteen hundred attacks treat as a dark and a light. When it's tributed, uh, you search for a level three from your deck to your hand. It's hella old card. Hello, old card. Chaos Sphere, I think that's what his name is. Chaos. It's not that. Hold on. Mm. It's a level 5. I think it's a level 5 light. That's also true as dark, so I think it's a level 5 light naturally. Uh, 1600 attack. Search that up. And you should be able to find it. Is it like Sphere of Chaos, I think, okay? or Chaos Sphere, or something like that? I'm, I will find I'm it. I'm close. Sphere of Chaos, yeah. See? Yeah, Sphere of Chaos. That card shot up to like 20 plus. Yeah, I do know it. Uh, I have seen it before. I've just never really... Yeah, because no one ever yeah. used it. But now, you know, you just tribute it, summon, get a level 3 light, whether it be, you know, I'm playing Extra Deck Monarch, so now I can uh, either search for a, a Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit or even the new uh, Cherry Blossom. Fuck up your extra deck, because I'm assuming that not every extra deck card is good, uh, is useful in there. So you could throw in a Dante, fuck up PK Fire, you know? 
It still doesn't seem all that great to me. Sphere of Chaos. I don't think it's that great, but, you know, it's hard to get, and they play it, and, and pack your coven, so. So, shoot up to $20, because it's a secret rare that I guess is hard to obtain. Why is freaking four Strix 20 quid, which is like $25 or whatever? I, thought, I have a feeling that that Cherry Blossom is going to be hell of expensive, especially since it's a secret rare. I mean, I guess it's easier to obtain, but I can definitely see it being like a $40, $50 secret rare. Yeah, probably. Depending on the ratio. Man, you get so expensive. <laughs> I can't afford any of this stuff. You, you, can't, you can't afford this game. Yeah. I gotta stick with my bloody fluffles. They're always cheap as shit. Please, can I? We don't break them and make them cost tons. Seems pretty good play right there. Brilliant Fusion get as he still has an additional normal summon as well. Summon the Karaz, pop those two, draw two, like Did you see Fluffles are getting a new monster? Yep. Freaking Fluffle Patchwork, I think it's called. It it, the, the effect hasn't been revealed, but the picture has. Okay. Looks pretty cool. I mean, does it help you beat monarchs? Dunno. It might it might say if your opponent tribute summons a monster, you win the game. Yep, and here we are seeing a play right now. We're seeing Overdrive Teleporter. Pay 2,000 summon two level 3 psychics from yeah. your deck. So, get who knows, too. Man, it's so not Monarchs. <laughs> hey, no, hey. This is Patrick Hoban right here. Damn, look at Psychic, psychic uh, Overdrive Teleporter. Look at that price. What the fuck? And then, of course, you gotta run that Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit, so you can go ahead and look at that price. Oh, <laughs> look at that high. Mm-hmm. Um, Zengaro summoned into the Stardust Charge Warrior to draw a card, and are we going to see oh, yeah. a rank six? Look at Stardust Charge Warrior's price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know you got to play that Brilliant Freezing, so you can go ahead and look at that price. Oh, <laughs> and I wanted to play Gem Knights in real life. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's never happening. Oh, rank six play. I mean, what M seven, photon strike bouncer. Like, who said monarchs can't play without an extra deck? Hmm? I mean, it's the most cost-effective way to play it. That way, you don't have to throw him all this extra shit and actually throw an extra deck. Yep, is that M seven? This duel's going on a lot longer than I thought it would. But I mean, they look at them. They both have six cards in hand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Like, what What do we have to do to this deck, man? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He still has a normal summon, too. It's ridiculous. Yep. Still has a normal summon. Yep, still has a normal summon. Sync 8. This is not Monarchs. <laughs> this is not Monarchs. Yeah. <laughs> when you see an XZ and two Synchros on the field. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> You gonna block that with Prime? <sighs> what? Don't no! You're not bored. You're not tired. This is New Monarchs. <laughs> this is Patrick yeah. opening at its best. Not, this this is fun. No, I didn't just yawn. <laughs> I, that was the yawn of excitement. <laughs> okay. And the sad thing is, this is it's not even like it's a situation that Jackson Bees can't fucking just easily come back. I mean, he also has six fucking cards drawn in a seven. Resources for days. Ready for another eight minutes in? You know what the sad thing is? What? This is game one. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this man's gonna kill himself. These things, these things have like time limits in like real life, right? Mm -hmm. in, in real life, a duel, a match is 40 minutes, and then after 40 minutes, you go into time, where the player's turn is zero, and you go zero, one, two, three, four, five, and at the end of five, whoever has the highest life points wins that round. The majority of the time, how you get a draw, so it's like, oh. So that was the old freaking self-destruct button, self-destruct button, and then last game, Again. side in a bunch of ladybugs to heal yourself so you have more life points than your opponent. Yep. It's pretty much what you do. You just stall out, get a draw, stall out, get a draw, last game, go into time, You see that dude points. that topped a long time ago playing Exodia, and his whole side deck was in Zekka's. Yeah, I remember that. That was funny. I like that. That was pretty clever. I mean, I'm no advocate of Exodia, but I liked it. I'm just trying to see what's going on in this door right now. Like, I'm pretty sure. Wow, he doesn't have any targets for his pantheism? Damn, that's how you know it's bad. He's drew and went to his exile mindset. The pantheism doesn't even have enough targets anymore. What a sad day in the. This late in the duel, and they still just have hella cards in hand. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Is this even new year? No. Cosmos are gonna get crazy. Monarchs are getting crazy, and it definitely seems like PK Fire might kind of just. Fall to the bottom, especially since Cosmos and, and Monarchs can fuck you up. Because they, they can have an extra deck, but not really relying on it like PK Fire does. So they can simply just throw in that Cherry Blossom, run a Dante, you summon something, Cherry Blossom, all your Dante's gone. GG. All your Break Swords, gone. Man, why did they give Cosmo more cards? Because they want that deck to be good. I, I still haven't read them. Like I mean, I have, but I don't think I really took it in. I don't remember what any of them do. Well, they got that Dark Planet net that's a 4,000 beater that can't be targeted that negates spells like a Dark Oh, Planet. I was really scared they'd do that. Yep. I was like, they better not make this freaking planet a 4K beater that's immune to everything. And then they did. Well, it's not immune to everything. Well. It can still be destroyed, but of course if it's destroyed, you get to search for a level 9 or lower. Yeah. And then they have Dark Lady, who's a level 5. 2200 beer that once per turn to your first turn, you can pay a thousand life points to negate a monster effect. Nice, more negation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the rest of the cards are kind of just meh. Nah. <laughs> it's mostly so just you can pretty much lock someone up if you have the planet and the yep. witch. And that deck can go off with the new Fire King Cosmos because Fire King Island's coming out, which of course pop a monster in your hand and your Cosmos, they're just destroyed, period. So Fire King Island, pop your cause big ships, your planet, your, your Eclipse or Search, or pop your smaller ships, get a summon, go off first mm -hmm. turn infinity, summon a dark planet, summon a dark lady. Jeez, it's cancerous. Yep, yep, it's cancerous. Just so much cancer. I haven't played Yu Gi Oh in a long, long while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no point. <laughs> like right now Worlds Worlds is going to be interesting mm. Right now If I would say Who would win Worlds At this moment I'd probably say It's going to be PK Fire PK PK Fire Alright, so go ahead and summon Ether in his turn. By tributing his two shits. Send two. Summon, I'm assuming, the Kraz. I mean, you can go ahead and pop them primes, I guess, but you're gonna allow him to draw and shit? Oh shit, wait, you don't have enough anymore? They're also out of Monarch spells and traps. <laughs> oh god, it's gone that long. Yep. Can you just both concede? Nope, 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 he's good, he's good. Yep. Yep. 
I guess he's got a cross. He's so summoning Erebus, which is fine, I guess. He doesn't do anything, so... I guess, Jack, go ahead and continue. Hmm. This, this game this is just ridiculous. I think this format's going to turn into some real shit. Nationals is going to be crazy. And PK Fire needs something new, because right now they're just going to get completely crushed by new Cosmos and new Monarchs. Mm -mm. Just shake my head at the power that we are seeing from these two decks. It's all because Konami made a terrible fucking list. But you, you hit them Draco pals. You hit them Draco pals. Yep. They're like the guys that are late to the party all the time. Mm hmm. Always, always late to the party. So you want us to hit Necros now? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nah. They, we really don't get those good lists where they just, you know, create a new format often. It's always just hit the top deck, or not even hit the top deck, like hit one of the top yeah. decks and then the rest everybody As long as it's free. not new, hit the top deck. Mm-hmm. Everybody else go free. Like, yeah, we're gonna hit the shit out of Synchros, but, uh, wind-ups and executors? Nah, nah. <laughs> not the first time that Konami's done this. Jack, can you please hurry the fuck up? Like, holy shit, this is taking forever. Yeah, if it wasn't taking long enough, doesn't help you take freaking... Take a good week to think up your play. You haven't seen a single domain activation. Dude, this is a school night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got shit to do today. I mean, it's night for me. Mm-hmm. We still gotta record daily duels. I'm not even yeah. sure if we're gonna get games two and three. Like, no, thank you. We're just gonna see the last of this, and then we're just gonna end it. We're already at 32 minutes. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. No, if no one's gonna watch this whole thing. If it's like fucking 40 minutes yeah, plus. Yeah, literally, this is boring the hell out of me. Can't imagine an audience. No, oh, no, this, this, this is entertaining. This is amusing. I mean, we're great commentators and all that, but. Yep. It's just the, the actual content is so boring. Yep. But what do people play this shit? What is this? This is garbage. Yep. You better make the spider dude afterwards or I'll be mad. It's not even out in TCG, is it? What? The spiders. Yeah, they're out. Oh, are they? Mm -hmm. Nice. It came out in a uh, Millennium Pack. No, no, gold. It was in gold. Cool. You better do that main phase too. Or I'll be mad. Alright, so go ahead and pop a monster. I guess he's thinking who he wants to pop. He's popped out a Rebus. That, that Ether ain't doing shit. That Rebus, he can get that back and fuck you up next turn, so... Is that mandatory? No, you can. Alright. I could have swore that uh, Dark Knight Lancelot was mandatory, but nope. Yep, it has to negate. And the first thing that he does has to negate. Look at this shit. They both still have six cards in their hand. He didn't even make the freaking spider, he just left it there. I guess he wanted to get to negate. Nice 4,000 beater would be pretty good right now. Seven sins? Yeah. Because this thing's just going to get run over. Mm-hmm. Makes no sense to me. I guess he's thinking that he can either survive because he'll get run over, he'll only take 800 and then have another turn, or... Yeah, but that's entirely game. assuming your opponent can't summon a monster. Mm-hmm. It's not like this deck can really summon the monster without activating. Freaking cheater. Is 
say how is he cheating? I'm kind of lost. If you can explain how he's cheating, am I? Is he? Is that? Am I missing something? This, uh, yeah, I mean, it probably would have flown right over my head. I wasn't really paying much attention. No, you know I can activate my effect, and didn't. What? Well, that's not cheating. And did not say nothing. No, his effect is optional. It's not mandatory. You didn't use effect. When this card inflicts bad damage to your opponent, you can target a monster. You didn't use Wait, it. Wait, wasn't there that weird ass ruling saying that, like the the freaking new ruling or whatever? I swear I heard something about this, where like you have to ask your opponent if they want to activate their optional effects. Really? I swear I read something about that. I'm, about I'm not even kidding. Hell no. I know, it, it, like... I swear I actually read something about that a while ago. On Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I guess, would that be considered mind games? Like, I'm not here yeah, to babysit. Yeah. I guess you have to I think that's what it was. I think they considered it mind games or whatever. You have to... You have to straight up tell your opponent... Or ask your opponent if they want to activate their optional effects. That sounds stupid. I don't know, I could just be making this up, but I, mean, I swear if that's I, true, I, I that swear sounds, I that sounds fucking retarded. I swear I read something along those lines. Like what? So can I so I can remind you? Like no. If you forget and it's an optional effect, you just didn't take the option to remember your own effect, so no. I can tell you shit. That's not my job. Now if it's a mandatory effect, sure. That's different. Yeah. That's different. But that's an optional it... effect. You can target a face up monster. Yeah. So if you so. forgot and do uh... Yep. But I do get the other argument as well. Mm-hmm. Just, just to make sure. Just to feel so dirty. Like, it's your yeah. responsibility. It's your monster. It's not your babysitter in a duel. You misplayed. You misplayed. It's your problem, not mine. Konami, you're that? getting kind of lenient with these fucking rules. <laughs> Again, I'll pro probably get slated with comments now saying, oh, Luna's wrong. Mm -hmm. He's made that shit up. Which I very well might have. I hope you did. Yeah. This duel is taking forever. I want it to end. <laughs> <laughs> They're so low on life points as well. Come mm -hmm. on. Jack, can you bust out another Lancelot? You run two? Wait, why does this dude even play a freaking field so I don't get it. Just You're not gonna burn your whole extra deck, are you? What is the use of it? What, just old. reducing levels. Who's messaging me? Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> <sighs> they both play the freaking field spell as well. Is it just to reduce your levels? Yeah, reduce your level plays or get some damage, get some attack or whatever. Or use it as another uh, draw card. Another, another cost for oh, yeah. the it's a, it's, I guess, but still, I don't know. They really have nothing better to play. Getting really old. I swear to God, I'm sick and tired of seeing marks. I thought we'd see something new and interesting with uh, with this the extra deck version, but this I'm just getting old. <laughs> just getting kind of old, getting kind of bored, <laughs> kind of dying here. Give him the return. No reason to give him a monarch stone for its wife, so you can have an ether and tribute during your turn? Like, yeah. You know what the still sad thing is? They Game still one. have six cards in their hand. Oh, yeah, they do. Jeez, both of them. Christ almighty. Look at that, how low their bloody decks are now. Yep. 
got nine cards left. Anyone would think he's playing a stool deck. Sorry, I, I generally don't play Yu-Gi-Oh for fun. <laughs> Strictly business, people. Please, can this duel just end? Please, just, 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 this, this, they would be going close into time. Like, holy shit. Because I think the other duel lasted, like, what, 10 minutes? So we'd at least be sitting at 30 minutes here. Yeah. I wish they had time on DN. I would hate to sit here for fucking an hour, two hours, fucking just dueling one opponent. I don't know if I'd be able to bear it. I'd just concede at that point. You can have your stupid points. <laughs> uh, please, like, can this, can this, just this duel, just this one round will end so I can end this fucking video. Alright. Hit you with that Dark Auto. Mm. Summon Thunder King Ryo attack for game. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's not enough. Wow. Oh, come on, XZ, win, please. No back row. See, this man actually gonna end it with Dante. D -d 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 Dante. Like, hey, you know what wins between a mirror match between two Monarch players? Dante. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, why? <laughs> why is it defense? Why position? in defense position? Why? <laughs> Not play it anyway. Oh yeah, you got freaking. Yeah, you can play that shit. Oh. Okay. My days. You should just summon it in attack position. Andrew already normal summoned. You could have won. Yep. Who's effect? Was he attaching a... Oh, oh that back. Okay. I believe he normal summoned, unless he special summoned that grass. Yeah, he... he did normal it. Yeah. So, now what? Wait, did he just... Banish to get summon back prime. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. And... What's that? That's a thousand attack? No. Yeah. Oh my days. All you had to do was just summon that ship in attack mode. Why would you put it in defense? I'm dying. Please end this door. It's no sense. And you use your normal summon, so what the fuck are we doing? Oh, uh, have full ray lancer, please, or whatever it's called. Is that on top of a water? I think so. Rank, three, rank water. four. Rank three water? Yeah, I think so. Just have it and win, please. I mean, I highly doubt he plays it, but... Is it even on the CCG? That's a good point, is it? <laughs> Full Ray Lancer. Didn't he already normal summon? Is that a yeah, he did. He normal summon the graph. To be honest. So he gets two normal. Let's just. So this let's man just, gets two normal summons. Let's just let him have it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not over. He's gonna go ahead and summon Prime and block. Fuck my life. No, no, no. That's a good point. I forgot about that shit. Right. Let's see. Is this out in the TCG? It's not. Mm. But uh, this card's been out for hella long. Why is this not in the TCG? This yet? duel is going on forever. Fucking Prime, I hate you so much. Stop blocking attacks and just end this duel. This is going on longer than a game of Smite. <laughs> Holy fuck. This is just one round. I swear to God, when we get to 50 minutes, I'm just gonna call time and we're gonna go fucking do time. And then if, when it's over, I'm gonna end it, duel, even though it's, even if it's not over, because holy fucking Christ. It's so fucking annoying. Everything I feel sorry for the guys who have to play the next round.
This game is so fucking floaty. Tired of this floaty ass shit in Yu-Gi-Oh. PK Fire, floaty. Monarchs, floaty. Cosmos, floaty. Pendulum Mechanic, floaty. Like, just die. Need more dank lore. People just start playing freaking ceasefire or something just to finish them off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're both in ceasefire range. If someone one more wants to. Mm -hmm. Exe those two into a rank five that can hopefully end this. Please. What rank five attacks directly? Oh wait. That wouldn't be activating, so come on. There's got to be one. I don't think there's them for the top, on the top of my line. Mm -hmm. It's 200. Mm -hmm. That's a, a temp of his health. Mm -hmm. Nope, still not done. <laughs> Thank you. Holy fucking Christ. I don't blame you. <laughs> it's over. He left. He probably disconnected, but still, it's over. Oh my god. So, uh, there you go, people. Monarch's featuring the extra deck is fucking stupid as Christ. Holy shit. Thank you, Luna, for joining me. <laughs> no problem. See you guys next week with some more Dando commentary. Fucking Patrick Hoban. Thanks for watching.